Man and Table Topic Monster, fellow Dust Monsters. I have something that, I, that reminds me of the sign on the gas station. <laughs> Anybody remembers or knows the, the brand name? Shell or Shell. I have horrible, horrible, horrible memories of <laughs> my trip to gas station a couple of weeks back when I needed some gas for my boat. So here I go, get some gas for the boat and I ran to the shell, which I think from us coming out of uh, Jetan Street to the right and to the left. And I fill the five gallon canister with uh, fresh gas with up to 10% of ethanol and brought it proudly home and put it in our boat. And the following weekend we take off, we get about 100, 150 feet from our dock and the whole boat comes. <laughs> It just dies. <laughs> Long story short, we somehow managed to get back, and I could crank up the boat, and on the on the very on the wake speed, could get back to the dock. Couldn't put it on a on a speed. Couldn't put it in drive. It would die. It just wouldn't work. So I got back on the sleep. Next day, it's got to be the batteries. I ran around testing batteries, recharging batteries, putting batteries back. It was not the batteries. So I tried everything and I couldn't figure out what went wrong. But then somebody told me, a couple hundred dollars later, and several trips to our boat, that we had a gas in our boat. <laughs> and gas comes from gasoline that is enriched with ethanol. So every time I see the sign, I said, bad gas! <laughs> for the boat, it's okay for cars. <laughs> And I have just this bad, bad, bad memory of getting gas with ethanol, which is impossible not to do these days. Until a short time ago, when I found out gas station on the right, Marathon, now carries ethanol-free gas. So if you need the gas for your boat, or for whatever else, shop at Marathon, not a shell. <laughs> <laughs>